Hey there, philosophers, and welcome now to Friday. Well, it's going to be a good Friday for you. The moon moves into your sign today. That's a great thing. Ending that grand square yesterday and really coming out of your house of karma and subconscious. Sagittarius had been moody the last 36 hours, but now the sun comes out and it's time to play, literally for you, Sag, over the weekend. The moon in your sign means that ultimately your emotional consciousness is working really easily with your ego consciousness. And this is a great thing, A, because Sagittarius have such great charisma anyway. So when they get charged up, they're fun to be around and it's fun for you to be you. You even enjoy yourself. Secondly, it really puts the strength of your ego behind your emotions and the passion of your emotions behind what you believe. Great time for speeches, getting out there, socializing, anything you need to do to be persuasive. You're going to be on fire for the next 36 hours. But on top of that, the moon will also conjunct Jupiter, your ruling planet, also in your sign, and also an apex of the Soul Pyramid and fire. So Saturday is a big, expansive day. In fact, it's a day where the universe is going to try to give you the opportunity to expand your emotional ideas of what charisma can be. How great, how wonderful, how, sh how much can you shine is the question the universe is saying to Sagittarius. Is. And on Saturday, you get to shine extra. It's like a bonus point. Plus, it will tie in the two other areas of your life. On one hand, the sun and Aries are really trying to help Sagittarius come up with the next plan, the next adventure, the next creative project, really in a very creative state this month, the Sagittarius. And at the top, Saturn and Leo saying to Sagittarius, hey, you come up with what you believe, you own it, you live it, and enjoy it. Sagittarius used to be complete followers, now they're out there adventure, creating adventure and actually spreading the gospel, so to speak. So it's really about you getting in touch with your own gospel, getting in touch with your own charisma, and really get in touch with your plans to how you want to express yourself in the coming months. All right, Sag, that's all we have for today. Be back on Monday with more Soul Horoscopes. Until then, live, love, be. Soul Garden.